All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. This video is all about wealth through investments. So this video, I'm, I would like to talk to you about wealth in with, with regards to the investments. Right, I have spoke about wealth astrology in different uh, areas of your life, like wealth through gold business, whether wealth through inheritance, immense wealth, millionaires and billionaires yoga, wealth through gifts, wealth through your continuous initiatives. I have made so many videos related to wealth astrology. So this video is all about wealth through investments. So let me talk to you a little bit of basics about the wealth astrology. So the primary Karakas for wealth are basically Jupiter and Venus. Most importantly, Jupiter is considered as an auspicious planet in terms of your wealth and financial matters. All right. So if at all you have a strong second house and strong 11th house in your birth chart, this indicates that you will gain stability in terms of financial matters. If the second house lot placed in the fifth house or fifth house lot placed in the ninth house, that indicates wealth through investments. And if at all Rahu's influence is also there in the second house, fifth house and the ninth house, especially fifth house, this indicates that you'll be, gain, you'll be gaining the wealth through speculative investments as well. All right. And also I'd like to talk to you about with regards to the Venus as well. If at all Venus is placed in the fifth house, or in the ninth house or fifth lot happened to be Venus and placed in the ninth house and ninth lot happened to be Venus placed in the fifth house that also indicates that you'll be making a lot of wealth through investments forget about any other uh, malefic yogas okay the Raj yogas like Chandra Mangala yoga or a Gajakeshari yoga forming in the fifth house this indicates that you'll be getting a prominent success in terms of financial investments the investments which you have been doing it for the future it will be really fruitful for you and you can make use of that money a lot of people will be having a lot of money a lot of properties and the crores and uh, millions of money they will be having but they will not be able to use them because of so and so reasons but if at all you have strong fifth house you can able to make use of that money that you have earned right so the pleasure and satisfaction comes to you unless until you make best use of that your hardened money right so this happens if at all you have a strong fifth house and fifth lord happened to be sitting in the 11th house that's another fruitful and positive indication that you'll be making a lot of money through investments okay it can be short-term investments or a long-term investment and let's say fifth house you are having rahu and 11th house you, are, you might be having rahu this also indicates that you'll be making a lot of wealth through speculatory investments like stock markets trading and all that okay so that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and do check other videos also on Wealth Astrology. There are a lot of videos that has been uploaded in my YouTube channel related to Wealth Astrology. Please do check those videos also. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for other videos. And also if at all you need my astrology consultations, the link is mentioned in the description section. Do book for an astrology consultation. Once I get a consultation order, I'll be able to help you with a complete analysis pertaining to your individual birth chart based upon your data based upon your date of birth, time of birth and the place of birth. Alright, so thank you so much guys and I'll see you, stay, stay tuned for my videos and click on that like symbol if you love this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.